Welcome to my ultimate beginner's guide. This uh, guide will help you to be set until you're level 30 ish and know the basics of this game. I will include, like, I will include this um, guide in the description so you can follow along or use this without my annoying voice along with it. Uh, and you can just translate to your native um, language, so that's not going to be a problem with you guys. Uh, however, I'm not gonna include any like cosmetic items like oh how to get the coolest like blade or whatever because that will just take like, you know, like freaking hours and hours and I don't have that sort of time right now. I might do that, but it, yeah, I'm a bit iffy on it. But if for some reason I miss anything in this guide, uh, please let me know. Uh, without further ado, let's start with the basics. Um, the classes you're gonna start out is with mage. You can just find the mage if you haven't already um, chosen mage, or you're like a warrior. Just go to the training hall, and you should also get the. Shit, it's not there. It's from Ragnar here. He changes a little bit, but he's always in the same spot usually. Uh, just scroll down until you see Oracle buy for free and the reason you want this oracle will give you some good healing and uh, good critical damages uh, not a lot but it still do maybe just for more like the damage sort of class because the fire and ice sort of combo you got there and damage reduction is also helpful so uh, these will use your enchantments uh, for wizard if you don't know what enchantments are they're like power-ups on your equipment, it'll be your main source of power for, in, for your character in a sense, so if you want to put on the enchantment, you go here, here, enchantments, you choose wizard, but since I'm level 50 and up, I will use the level 50 and up one, and then you just basically, bada boom, and then these armors just go to these classes, not these, as you can see they're grayed out, just these so yeah you'll be uh, just fine just doing it of course you'll be like um, some reds here and some yellows but I'll talk about that a little bit later so once you got your enchantments and your classes down uh, if for whatever reasons uh, you get a little bit full you go to the bank here um, there's some people right here already up the bank. Uh, let's just say I had enough legion tokens for one day and just want to put in my bank. Go in there, uh, click here, and then grab it out. Uh, this, this, however, don't mind the one bank space because it will be zero for you guys. Uh, you got infinite amount of AC uh, spaces, so put in every uh, AC item if you don't need it right now. So yeah, that's the bank. Uh, some commands right now. I'll just change the room real quick. Uh, okay. So yeah, uh, some commands you want to know is uh, slash p for the party, slash g uh, if you're in a guild. I'm not in a guild right now, but that'll be that. Slash w for whisper, and then you put in. Um, just any friend name or someone you wanna talk to. Hazard Army. Oh, well, not Army, but you see, it will say two, whatever that is, and you whisper. If for whatever reason um, you don't have to reply, just do slash R. You reply just in case. And the main thing that everybody uses is slash join. And then the location name, which I just did to be doing Balon. But you should be pretty well adept at that. Uh, so, as a level 1, you should do the basic places. So, you just open your book of lore. Basically, keeps all your things there. But, you want to do the tutorial and then uh, the, uh, on the evasions. 
and then true maybe true valley uh if you hit um uh, at a certain point but yeah and also please save up your gold don't just buy it on like oh this fancy weapon costs 10k gold i'll just buy it but like just save your gold until you can buy a full sort of set that you like of course uh this game does not big game sets uh, this game does not follow the traditional um like like um like iron plates guards boots like it is but it's like really simplistic you just got the weapons the armors and then you got your cosmetics right here that you just put on top like a bush so you get that that and then of course you got your pets I can't use them right now because they're members, but uh, it, it'll it'll do. So, so say once you're level six or seven, you feel like your classes aren't really doing the things you need. Uh, all you need to do, you you should start getting your new classes, which uh, could be apparent, could be not, depending on what you're versing. So, if you want to get some new. Um, classes all you gotta do is uh, go to slash join edge maze and do the quest line here there'll be somewhere right here or here whichever side but you do it go get to the tower mirrors or uh, if you have uh, a high level you can just uh, go to the scholar the boss which is slash join tower Mirrors. I'm just showing this for the people who have zero knowledge. But if you don't know what the boss looks like, it's a big ugly guard look. Yep, just basically that. And if you have uh, some extra time, you might want to do uh, the collector class. If you just go to slash drawing collection, I believe. Gotta wait for this um, cutscene you can't skip for whatever reason. Click on this guy, collect a class. Um, here you can get the collector class and it's uh, cosmetics, but I'll just go for the class. Uh, there'll be baby Dracath. Yes, baby Dracath is gonna give you the quest to get this. Don't explain it just how it is, but yeah. So once you got uh, your scholar and maybe collector class, depending on how long you've been playing, you want to get a tier a tier one class, basically a rank ten class you want to get. And speaking of tiers, there are two tiers. Tier one requires one rank ten from a faction. So um, so say for the lichen. You get the lichen class, but for a tier two class like um, Blazebind right here, you need many more. A, you need a Pyromancer class. You need the, the Ether Storm. Not Ether, but I can't pronounce it, but yeah, you need a lot of ranks to do this one. But something like Elemental Rockmancer just required um, Ether Storm, I believe. Not Ether. Um, the names are hard in this game, don't judge me. But uh, some classes I do recommend to, to get uh, as a low level is either Dark Blood Storm King uh, and or Elemental Dracomancer, which I already talked about. So you want to use Wizard on both of these classes. Um, why you want to get Dark Blood? Um, first off, it got um, some good sustain. So you can do, uh, you can heal yourself for well, a bunch of times until with the 3-2 combo, just heal. And then if you're low on mana, you do the 4-2 combo. The physical is your damage. Uh, I At this level, I do 4-5k to 5K constant. At your level, you might do like uh, about uh, 1k at most if you get a lucky crit. Or 500k. Uh, depend not fine not 500 k on um, 500 that's what i was going for but yeah as for elemental dracomancer it's really tanky 
you can literally spam the skills and never run out of mana. I tried, never happened. And if it does, you probably haven't been critting, but that doesn't really matter. Just be, just spam these and you'll be fine. Uh, be sure to use number four a lot though, since that's where your tank comes in. However, um, you can't heal on like the Dark Blood Storm King, so that's the downside. And it's single target while um, Dark Blood Storm King can attack multiple um, monsters depending on which contact you want to use. So as you can see for our nameplates, this is the next phase I'm going to. As a white name, you're a non-member, you don't have uh, anything on you, on you right now. If you have a blue name, you're a member. Uh, so, but yeah, as I said, if you have a yellow name on your items right here, on here, these are for members only, and most of your pets are going to be members, because they win, I guess, and you know, kind of skeptical on that, but yeah. If you see any other uh, colors, they're a moderator of some sort, whether it be like the staff member or, or whatever it, it might be. So I'm gonna just change the uh, change the set of scenery. Cozy home, man. So now let's go over the events, and trust me, there are a lot of events. Currently, right now, we have the Quibble event, and it's like a, it's just this Mogan that comes around like once or twice a year. I'm not too sure what it comes, but it'll just have some gear that will go rare. Pretty good gear, and then he just leaves, and that's what he do. As for like when the new releases come out, every Friday or Saturday, depending on your uh, time zone, and they've been, and they never missed a week, I believe. Or if they had, that might have been in the early stages, but we didn't talk about the early stages, except the good days. That's when we talk about them. Mm. Of course, there's like these uh, basic ones, like holidays. So, Christmas would be Frostville here. Mogwin would be Halloween. That sort of thing happens here. And as for birthdays of the staff members, uh, let's say Arctic's birthday comes around. Um, it really depends. You might get an event, you might not. Um, but mostly it's just like a shop. You go here. Uh, I believe it's in the future. Is it future? Yeah. Right now it's uh, it's our birthday, I believe, right now. So that's why it's here right now. So that's the birthday right now. And the ones I can't really show you, but so the can is the limited quantity shop or the LQS would most people would say these are gears are when um, oh, hold on I'll, I'll try to show you so there are okay there aren't any right now but like there'll be gears here and at in a certain amount of time and a certain number of items would be available to the public and you get them, and only a few people can get them. Very select, select people. Uh, most of them are like ACs or like members, but free, some not free non member here. But you, you get the gist of it. Limited time, limited amount of items are available. That's why it's kind of quantity, limited quantity. Eh. And going off of this would be the the um. um, um the LTS, yes. So this is gonna be the limited time shop. And how that's gonna work, it's gonna be um, a shop here with a timer. Uh, can't really show you that right now at this moment, but there'll be like a timer that's called it's called a limited time shop. Well, yeah, time shop. And it will be like the same premise, but everybody can get it at that set. And then we get into wars. So if you go to Dragon, 
Island, I believe, or whatever it's called. Ah, yeah. You get this war meter to like a hundred percent, and you basically get some war gear, like defend the war chest. You get some gears and some merge. They're pretty, pretty dope items. Sometimes they're meh, but you get what you get with those. And I believe that's, uh, I think that's all for events right now. Uh, please leave a comment if I miss any events because there's a lot of events other than the basis of that. So you run out of gold right now. Uh, like for me, this is not worth nothing in this game. Well, gold doesn't really have a lot of meaning to this game, but you need it for some items as a as a low number time twister. Alright, so what you want to do is go to slash join portal undead. Okay, not spaced out like an idiot like I am. But yeah, you go to portal undead, skip this cutscene that always happens. You want to take this fire gem quest. And this is daily, by the way, so don't depend it, your life on it. And you're supposed to kill it. There we go. Kill this guy, get the quest done. And you want to accept the staff. And there's a reason you want to accept the staff. Go to shops, sell your items, and then here it is. And then sell it. Pretty good amount of money right here. Alright, for our next place, for our gold, will be slash join fairy. Bet. It's not fairy. Whatever. It's fairy in my book. But yeah. And man, I'm getting parched if we're talking about like 17 minutes by now, but eh. You hug this tree, the spider takes you. And then um you basically kill it. And I wouldn't I will primarily go for the weapons. But you can take every drop and sell it. So let's wait for a weapon drop. Um, okay, it's not dropping. Let's just hit the next one. So let's, you gotta do slash green, green guard, east? No, 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 west, west. It was west. I always get those things confused. So you go up here. Up and over the ninjas, and you will meet the Black Knight here. And you want you want to do with the Black Knight is go to his quest, complete uh, these, which you will find the four "quote unquote" powerful monsters in Green Guard. And so yeah, you just take those guys, kill them, and then you summon him. But you need the orb from this quest right here. Okay, that's the orb you need. You summon and you kill the boss. Um, the average amount of gold you can get from him is is depending from the drops, and it's gonna be six six thousand two hundred fifty gold, like minimum. That's pretty good in my book, if you ask me. So let's just do slash join Force of Chaos for our next phase. There we go, Force Chaos, not of Chaos. Okay. Now you just defeat these wolves. Uh, you're gonna get pretty quick. Just gotta get my mana up. Get there. That's five. You could just do this as level one, as I believe, but you probably need like a oracle class to like three for the heals, and then you kill this dude, the corrupted bearer of this thing. Just click stay here longer since you're gonna be farming it. Uh, let's just wait for a drop again. Gonna take some time here. Okay, so I drop in, 
and now if you want to level up uh, there are a few ways you want to do it um, my way of doing it is a bit risky but it requires a high level and then so you can ask and round Yogar and just go to the dark fortress right here and what you want to do in this dark fortress go in here uh, you go top and then you take a left and then go in the pit I call it a pit this is basically a prison cell but I call it a pit and then you basically attack all these monsters so and they are all high level okay not that one that's 15 25 30 45 but as a low level you get a ton of XP from here and class points but it requires a high level to heal you and kill these quickly so and also they don't stop attacking you so be on the lookout for that all right le next up is where everybody knows you just go to eagles reach hey buddy and their mother knows are basically in this game but since you don't know we just go to battlegrounds click your level range which you should be around six or seven if once you finish the starting aerials I said so after you done the Eagles reach and then, well I can just show you just go here everybody has the same quest take the area quest and then kill the monsters outside here perfectly but yeah, uh, next up is gonna be Doom Vault. Ooh, spooky. But Doom Vault, uh, it's a bit interesting. It's one of my favorite to, like quest lines to do, but it's like frustrating at the same time because this guy likes to troll you a lot. So what you wanna, as you can see, you get to pull the lever. You click here, it doesn't work. You gotta manually do it right there. But uh, after you complete this quest line, which is a madhouse, so you want to click here, subsequently, dude. You go here, and it's recommended to have a high level friend because uh, that guy's a bit scary. You take this uh, quest here 2000 gold, 200, 2000 XP really good amount of XP for a low level and it's just a level 25 with um, 37,000 HP so if a group of you or just um, really high level with beefy class comes in this guy's no problem you'll be, you'll be basically fine at this point and as for like general tips I can give you um, I believe that's all I have for basics. Um, I already showed you the commands. Uh, oh yes, um, this, uh, the little carrot page thing I forgot. So you might be wondering why I have this sort. So you all get to do is carrot page me or whatever person like I want to get this sword I know this guy is all over the place so uh, bear with me right there uh, after all the badges you get uh, how do you get Dark Bloodstorm King for example you do that uh, that and then they'll tell you how to get it so all you need is do the reputation here here's what the class looks like and that's how you mean to use the wiki in a sense. Ah, one, one tab. Uh, I believe that's about it. Um, I'm not too sure on any other specifics I should be doing. But yeah. Uh, this is going to be from my guy for now. My throat is parched as sec for talking about this for like 25 minutes. But you guys have a good one, and I'll see you then. If you got any questions about...
the specifics about like how to get a house item to well, houses are just like you just go to um, um, to center and buy a house done but yeah that's like the last bit of trigger like trick a guy my brain's already dead from talking guys okay, so I'll see you then